Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Juliet Kitchen. I'm actually showing you how to make this super moist, absolutely delicious chicken breast with vegetables, carrots, potatoes, onions, marvelous umami flavor in it. I think you'll love it. So stick around long enough and I'll show you how. Before we get started, Please be kind and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, your likes to this video is very much appreciated. Thank you. I always have carrots in the fridge. So I'm using some carrots. I'm using organic carrot and despite using an organic carrot, I still like to peel them. Many people don't and that's a real thing. Put the carrots any way you like. I'm just going to give it a rustic look. To prevent the carrots from overcooking, you do want to cut them into two to three inch pieces. I happen to have purple tomatoes in the house, so I'm going to use these. You don't need a lot. This is about two, four, six, eight. I'm just going to half them. You can use whatever type of potatoes you have. Onion. I'm just going to peel these and then quarter them. Cutting a medium to large onion in quarters is the size that will cook perfectly in this dish. Let's grind some spices, including mushrooms. These are porcini mushrooms, dried. Dried puccini mushrooms has a very strong taste, so less is more. Combining it with peppercorns, cumin, as well as red pepper flakes makes for an umami magical spice mix. It's so good. This magic powder looks so good. It smells amazing. This is about two tablespoons. Extra virgin olive oil. Enough to make a wet paste. I'm gonna use my fingers. You can use a glove if you prefer, or a spatula. I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons on here. Salt. Mix it all together. That puccini uh, powder is gonna give it a beautiful umami flavor. Yummy. I'm using a cloche. You could use a Dutch oven. I like to line the bottom. Just fold the parchment paper in half. Then another half. You always want to seam here. Fold. Always fold towards the seam. Fold. Eyeball measuring. This technique is known as cartouche. It's a way of cutting a temporary lid for a pot as well. I want a bit of a hangover. The parchment paper will help with easy cleanup. Dump all of the veggies on the lined cloche base. Bone in skin on chicken breast, but you could use whatever you have. You want to make sure it's thawed. This was in the freezer and I thawed it out in the refrigerator. If you forgot to take it out of the refrigerator the day before, you can always run it on the cold running water. These chicken breasts are, are about uh, 1.8 pounds, so one and a half to two pounds worse. Works. Salt. Generously. Season with the paste. Add the chicken into the pan. The stoneware. Cover the pan. I like to put it on a sheet pan, it's just easier to move around. What's going to happen with the chicken here? It's going to steam and it's also going to cook through. It's going to be nice and moist and super flavorful. Into the oven at 450 degrees. Wow, it smells awesome! Amazing! Let's take a look. Whoa. She's looking beautiful. 
At this point, I like to tempt the chicken. It's not fully cooked yet. The vegetables are all nice and cooked. I'm gonna add these back to the oven to brown, uncovered. Wow, it looks amazing. It smells even more amazing. Cooking the chicken uncovered brings it up to temperature and gives it beautiful color. It's perfect. It's about 160 and I'm going to let it rest for about five minutes to come up to temperature. It's going to continue cooking. It's sizzling. Can you hear it? This one pan chicken and vegetable smells so delicious and it tastes even better. It's my favorite time. Tasting. Yummy, yummy. Wow, look at this. The chicken is so moist and tender. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is so good. Wow, those juice from the chicken, the natural juices, awesome. All of that umami flavor from the um, puccini mushroom powder, magical. Carrots perfectly al dente. The purple potato, these baby potatoes work magically. They're very tender. The red pepper flake wasn't too spicy at all for my taste bud. The flavors are perfect, perfect, perfect. It's so good, you're going to want to make it. It's a must try. Until next time, happy cooking. Subscribe to our food blog to get notification whenever we post a new recipe and follow us on Instagram.